It, it really is a copycat league, right? Because I guess the Titans were like, oh, Jaguars, y'all want to make a, a blockbuster move? Watch this. So, as y'all know, we've been on DeAndre Hopkins' watch for a long time. Ever since it started coming out and rumors started surfacing that he could possibly be traded from the Arizona Cardinals, and then the Cardinals ended all those rumors by releasing DeAndre Hopkins. We've been waiting to see where he was going to land next. There's been some teams that they said could be interested, should be interested, but the only two that showed significant interest because they actually brought DeAndre Hopkins out were first the Tennessee Titans and then the New England Patriots. Tennessee Titans, they brought him out on his first visit. They flew him out on a private jet. They let, they let him go to the, uh, the country concert, and they just they, they, they showed him love. They showed him a whole lot of love. And then the New England Patriots were like, hold up. Well, anything you can do, well, I don't know if we can do it better right now, but we're going to try. So they brought DeAndre Hopkins out as well. And both teams were said to have had great visits and really love what they saw from DeAndre Hopkins. So then it was said that both teams were interested in signing him. And then things got quiet. Things had got quiet for a couple of weeks. And we were like, OK, what's going to happen? Me, I was thinking, all right, DeAndre Hopkins, he's not going to either one of those teams. He's just using those teams for now. And using them to drive up his interest, but then somebody else gonna come flying in and then he'll go sign with them. But boy, was I wrong. Completely wrong. Because DeAndre Hopkins is officially signing with the Tennessee Titans on a two year deal worth up to $32 million deal with a base of uh, 26 mil. Now, um, when we look at the contract, uh, it says that it's a base of 12 mil with incentives to get to 15 mil for the first year. Um, now, uh, so he's getting paid less than Odell Beckham Jr. But anyway, um, he is going to be going back to the AFC South again for the second time uh, with joining the Tennessee Titans. And he'll get to see the Texans at least two times a year. I know there's no bad blood between him and the Texans or anything like that. I mean, he said he still even lives in Houston. Uh, so ain't no bad blood, but he'll get to play them at least two times a year. Now, I'm not sure if the Cardinals are on the uh the titan schedule but i guess we'll see now um with that being said uh deandre hopkins i just hope that this for tennessee's sake except when they play the ravens in week six in london minus that game but all the other games do what you want to do but i hope for tennessee's sake that this doesn't end up like randy moss with the titans or like julio jones with the titans and what i mean when i say that is i hope that we don't see that version of DeAndre Hopkins with the Titans. Receivers who were once or at, in at least one point in a time in their career, they were the best receiver in the game. Julio Jones was multiple times. Uh, and then Randy Moore, of course, Randy Moore definitely was. But I, I just hope we don't see that version of DeAndre Hopkins. I don't think we will because the thing about DeAndre Hopkins, the thing that he's shown us already is that no matter who's throwing him the ball, like, literally no matter who's throwing him the ball, he going to ball out. He going to show out. He going to make plays. He going to come through. This is why I would have I loved if my team, my Ravens got DeAndre Hopkins. What? <laughs> and then when, I remember when the reports were coming out, the first thing they said, Lamar, he asked about both Odell Beckham Jr. and DeAndre Hopkins. I'm like, man, Lamar, I love that thinking. Ask for both of them. Let's go. Then reports came out that said that the Ravens were actually close on a deal with DeAndre Hopkins. And that was right before the draft. And then um, I remember when, when they drafted Zay Flowers, it, again, it was a bittersweet thing for me because I was like, all right, Zay Flowers, cool, especially he's from South Florida. But then I was like, oh, but that's, that's probably the end of DeAndre Hopkins officially. And it was. So, but it's cool. I'm excited to see what the Baltimore Ravens and their receivers do this season. But this video is not about them. This is about the Titans. But again, hopefully for the Titans' sake and DeAndre Hopkins' sake, he can go out there and continue to do his thing. Now, we know he is technically past his prime, but that don't mean he, still, he can't play. That don't mean he can't play. Just because he may not be the best. And, and I mean, who even knows? Because last year, he missed a chunk of time due to suspension. And he missed, I think he missed like a tiny, tiny bit of time with an injury, but... Time he missed last year was just majority suspension. DeAndre Hopkins is somebody who primarily been pretty healthy his entire career uh, and just been so consistent. He, he, I think he tweeted out, what was it like last week, I think? He said, uh, oh, when I'm not a 1,000-yard receiver, I'll retire. So 
I, I wonder if the Titans they sit on that playbook and he's like, yikes! How am I get a thousand yards receiving from this? As then maybe he's thinking about retirement. I don't know, man. But yeah, but this 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 should be fun, though, man. It's gonna be fun seeing DeAndre Hopkins play uh, for the. Well, I hope that it's fun. I hope that it's fun. <laughs> but it should be. Because even just last year, he was still out there balling. He was still out there doing his thing. He was still out there making plays even the last couple of years for the Cardinals. So whether his quarterback is Ryan Tannehill, whether his quarterback is Will Levis, whether his quarterback is Malik Willis, whoever their quarterback is going to be when they get that situation, the way that I think it's going to go, I think it's going to be Ryan Tannehill first. And then if he struggles, then they'll bring in uh, Will Levis and get that uh, experiment started. Now, Remember in his uh in his interview that he did with Brandon Marshall and Ashley Nicole Moss from I Am Athlete, it, it really sounded like DeAndre Hopkins, he wanted a team that was like Super Bowl ready, that he felt was Super Bowl ready, that he felt like were true contenders right here, right now. Cause he ain't got much time in his career left to be wasting time. So I just felt like he would go to like a, a sure thing team. Um and I the, the teams that I thought that he was gonna go to, I thought he was gonna go to either the Chiefs or the Bills. Those are the two teams where I felt like, all right, DeAndre Hopkins, he about to go to one of them. But no, and I could understand if he would, if I could have understood if he would have went to one of those teams, because uh, they've been consistent playoff contenders. The Bills have, the Chiefs have been Super Bowl contenders and Super Super Bowl winners. Literally, they keep playing in the Super Bowl. They keep playing in like every AFC Championship. They are the definition of winners, and they even like can you call them a dynasty. I mean, they're like the Golden State Warriors of the NFL right now. They really are. So, but anyway, um, he, some of the stuff that he said in that interview, it just, it didn't scream Titans to me. And I appreciate my sports update listed those, some of those things. He said stable management. Um, I think, didn't the Titans just get rid of their GM recently? They got a new GM. But even besides that, they got Mike Rabel. Mike Rabel has been a good head coach for them. He's been a, a, I mean, almost great head coach for them, but he's been really good, especially having dealt with so many injuries over the years, but still having them with good records, still having them fighting, still having them right there in the thick of things. Um, it said a QB who loves the game. Mm. Now, I don't know Tannehill personally, but I think that he does love the game. Reason being because he used to be a wide receiver. He used to be like, he used to play wide receiver. Um, but then he made the switch to quarterback. He went to the Dolphins, got paid from them, went to the Titans, got paid from them. So I would definitely think that with all the money that he's made throughout his career, Ryan Tannehill been around for a while, too. He's been around for a while. Ryan Tannehill got a, like, a sneaky long career, man. So I, I would think that he loves the game. And, and Will Levis, now he got the opportunity. Uh, he, got, he finally got drafted. He had to sit through the whole first round and nothing happened. But then uh, he got drafted in, what, the second round, I believe? So, I mean, I'm sure he loves the game, too. And then Malik Willis. Even though all these reports, we keep hearing reports about him that are bad. All these reports saying he's not look good. He probably gonna get cut. This, that, and the third. We'll see what happens. But I'm sure he loves the game as well. But all, all, with all those reports saying all that stuff about him, that's what training camps for. So we'll see when we get there. But so yeah, I, I guess he got a, a, a quarterback who loves the game, or quarterbacks who love the game. For different reasons. But anyway, uh, and it also said uh, a great defense because defense wins championships. So defense, yeah, Titans got that. Titans definitely got that. So now um, he will take some pressure off of Traylon Burks. Uh, that'll help him a lot. But more so off of Derrick Henry. See, the thing about Derrick Henry, um, he is such a great running back to me. Even if over the last year or two he lost a step or whatnot, I feel like he's still a great running back. Reason being, for me, a great player, an extra great player, is somebody who is the focal point of your team. Other opposing teams know that this person is going to get the ball. They know that this person, your, your team lives and dies through this person. But that person, despite that, despite other teams knowing that, despite other coaching staffs, other players knowing that that person is going to get the ball, they still ball out. They still make plays. That is a great player to me. So Derrick Henry has been a great player to me for a long time. This alleviates pressure off of him. It really does. And then with the Titans, if they can really establish the running game, and I know it sounds so cliche, oh, if they can run the ball and they can pass the ball, you can play action, but you can, especially with a Derrick Henry. Because if Derrick Henry start running the ball good, everybody start loading the box because you need extra bodies to tackle Derrick Henry. And then DeAndre Hopkins will be like, hey, I'm one-on-one. -on -one. And look, I ain't even got to have much separation. Just throw it up. The 50-50 ball is DeAndre Hopkins' thing. So he ain't got to burn past nobody. He a good route. He a great route runner. 
So that's going to be nice for Tannehill or Levis or Willis, whoever his quarterback is. It's going to be nice for them. But he could just be, hey, just throw it up to me, and I got you. And he's somebody that you can trust. He doesn't drop the ball. He just makes plays, man. He is the definition of no matter who's throwing me the ball, I'm going to make plays happen. We've literally seen that with DeAndre Hopkins. We saw him make plays with, especially on the Texans, we've seen him make plays with so many different quarterbacks throughout the years. And it was no coincidence that DeAndre Hopkins' best seasons came when he had his best quarterback, that being Deshaun Watson. So it correlates. That, that's why I'm, I'm just really surprised that DeAndre Hopkins went to Tennessee. Because there ain't no offense to Tennessee or nothing like that, but I just I, I did not envision him going to play. I, I thought Because he also talked about he wanted to play with an elite quarterback. He also mentioned that. So, Ryan Tannehill's not bad. Is he elite? No, he's solid. Elite? I wouldn't say elite, but I, I just didn't envision him going there. I really didn't. Um, I just, in my opinion, I don't feel like the Titans are Super Bowl ready. Especially, like, think about this: if 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 the Titans were truly a Super Bowl ready team, would they be drafting a quarterback in the second round? If they were Super Bowl ready team, I feel like they would already have their quarterback, right? They, that, that's just my opinion, though. But I feel like they would already have their quarterback. I feel like they wouldn't be need to be picking a quarterback so high if they already had that guy. But I don't know. But anyway, DeAndre Hopkins, he's he's there. He's there. Um, so he got a decent amount of money. We mentioned in the previous video that uh, I felt like DeAndre Hopkins he had already made the most money that he was going to make on a contract. Uh, in previous contracts before I didn't feel like he was ever going to top Or even match the money that he's made before And this contract proved that to be true And that's not a knock on DeAndre Hopkins at all It's not But I just didn't see him getting getting the money that he got once before uh, So, but yeah Anyway, Team Keep It Clean, appreciate y'all I love y'all um, This DeAndre Hopkins watch It ended a lot different than I thought it would Again, I did not see him going to Tennessee. I really didn't. Like I said earlier, I really thought that DeAndre Hopkins was, yeah, Tennessee was interested in him. They brought him out there, but I just really thought that he was going to be like, oh, no, nah, I ain't interested in them. But just used him to drive up his market. Then the Patriots came along, then used him to drive up his market. And I, I was just waiting for a team to come out of nowhere and swoop in, but nobody ever did. Now, I wonder. Because we usually do with these type of things. I wonder if we're going to hear a story, maybe in a couple of days or something, talking about, oh, th this team over here, they were interested, but they didn't cough up enough money. Because that's usually how these things go. We usually hear about that. So, anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, so you do not miss anything in the NFL. You don't miss anything going on with the NFL. You don't miss any news, any breaking updates, anything. Because I want y'all to stay on point. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for everything. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean channel members. Thank you for supporting the channel extra. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Appreciate y'all as well. If you want to become, become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravingvids. And if you don't, that's fine too. I appreciate all y'all showing up. I appreciate all y'all being here. Thank you. I love you all no matter what team you rock with. No matter who's your favorite player. No matter who, whatever. I love y'all. Everybody. Y'all all deserve to be happy. Y'all all deserve to be just treated the right way by everybody. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate how y'all are. I appreciate everything about everything that y'all do. So thank you. Team Keep It Clean, we out.